we've got some things to talk about here tonight. Mm-hmm. This this whole issue of smart meters has literally caught, I would suggest, 95% of Americans completely flat-footed, off guard, and ignorant. They don't know what they are. They're, some are learning. I've done a program or two about it with uh, Rosalind Peterson. Uh, there's a good DVD up there somewhere on YouTube that I just posted a day or two ago. Uh, maybe you sent it to me. I'm not sure. But uh, these smart meters are bad news. They're putting him in Los Angeles now. They're putting him in everywhere. And as I remember Rosalind explaining it, the utility companies can literally force you to give up your current refrigerator to be replaced by one you will have to buy because it will interface with a smart meter better, and they're all made in Mexico. It's just one aspect of it. But there's far more to that, and a lot of it has to do with after-hours energy, shall we say, spewing into your home, uh, false meter reads, all kinds of things. So tell us, tell us your take on smart meters. I hope you don't have it in, in West Texas. Well, <clears throat> I will just tell you that today I was reading a piece by a doctor who was Harvard-educated. He graduated from Harvard Medical School. He has an amazing resume, and he says, let's see, exposure to all of this stuff. He says, we will face an epidemic of cancers in the future resulting from the uncontrolled use of cell phones yep. and the electromagnetic pulses. He says that uh, frequencies, the skulls that hit the thinner area of the brains. Oh. Uh, he says it strongly suggests that exposure can cause changes in cell membrane function, cell communication, metabolism, trigger the production of stress proteins, uh, conclude, include DNA breaks and chromosome aberrations. Mm-hmm. Cell death, including death of brain neurons, increased free radical production, at activation of the endogenous opidide systems, cell stress and premature aging, changes in brain function, including memory loss, retarded learning, performance impairment in children, headaches and fatigue, sleep disorders, neurodegenerative conditions, changes in immune function, allergic and inflammatory responses, and reduction in melatonin secretion. So... That's Bad news. Just part of what he says. It's only right. a six-page uh, statement that he made, but this is this is so dangerous and so bad. And of course, I just began my war here mm-hmm. because on April 11th, I got a, a uh, letter from Reliant Energy, which is I thought was our energy supplier since I write them a check every month. But they said that they've been notified by something called the TDSP, which stands for Transmission and Distribution Service Provider, that reads your electric meter that for the second consecutive time, the meter was inaccessible due to locked gates. Well, yes, last year, some jerk-off during the night opened my big side gate, Mm -hmm. and I didn't even know it until Mm -hmm. I looked at the front door and Willie was standing there. And I, uh-huh. I almost had a heart attack. What time so was that this? very day. Uh, late at night? Late at night? No, this was in the morning, but uh-huh. it happened overnight. Oh, he so, came in, know, I see. Yeah, yeah. He was standing at the door because uh-huh. I let him out in the morning to do his business. Mm-hmm. So right that day, we put locks on the, on the gates. So anyway, I called Reliant right away, and I said, look, I don't know anything about this. And they said, well, you have to call Encore. I said, well, who's Encore? Well, apparently they're this TDSP. So I call them, and I say, look, you know, my husband's retired. I work at home. We are here virtually all the time. We don't ever go any place at the same time because we have new dogs, and they're still being, you know, broken into the routine. And I said, all your meter reader has to do is knock on the door. <clears throat> and they said, okay, fine. So I thought it was concluded until about three weeks ago, some nice man stopped at the door, and he's got this box in his hand. And he says, I'm here to install your smart meter. And I said, no, you're not. He says, well, yeah, you have to have it. And I said, no, I don't. And so he said, okay, well, I'll tell the home office. I said, it's not your fault. I said, but I'm telling you right now that you're not going to put one in here. So a couple of days ago when I wasn't home and John was here, um, another one showed up at the door. And he said, if, if you don't let us put the smart meter on, we're going to shut your power off without notice. So today <laughs> I fired off a letter to both Reliant and Encore, and I said, look, I have worked with you people. <clears throat> I've told you, I've made every accommodation. I said, but you will not turn off my power because of my husband's health issues, which I listed, and I said mm-hmm. this would be very have serious consequences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I also told them 
that there was a landmark decision just May 25th back in the state of Maine. And this is a landmark decision that will benefit utility uh, customers all across the United States. This big law firm out there convinced the Maine Public Utilities Commission to find that it was an unjust and unreasonable practice for Central Maine Power Company to refuse to permit residential and small commercial customers to opt out of CMP's smart meter program. Uh And it it goes on and on. That's a good precedent, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Portland Press-Herald said, you know, this was a landmark case because it represents the first time in any any state that has ordered an electric utility company to permit customers the choice to opt out of a smart meter program. The case has been followed by public utilities all across the country. So I told politely in my letter to both Reliant and Encore, I said, I'm sure you're aware of this case, okay? I said, and if you turn off my power, I will have you in court before you can blink. And I, you know, I I was polite. I said, I hope, I said, I hope it doesn't come to that. I Mm -hmm. hope we can, you know, reach a a, a, a amicable resolution to it. We're home. Encore posts the days and the times of of your billing cycle where their meter reader can come and read the meter. Uh So I have begun my battle with them um, and I'm going to win. Tell them this goes on, uh, Nationwide, worldwide radio. It is. We'll, it's a huge, huge. No, deal we'll in we'll South cover Street. it here. Well, no, we'll do it here, and you can write about it, you, and we'll and you roast them. You know what them. it is? Be, besides, so dangerous. It's just another job killer. The, ah, they, all the meter readers are going to be gone. You be laid off. That's right. Of course. It's all about the bottom yeah. line, and they don't give a crap about what it does to your body. Nope. Nope.